everyone, I'm Major Jimp, and today I'm going to be taking a look at this universal clip lens. What this allows you to do is attach a wide angle, fisheye, or macro lens to any smartphone or pocket camera that's small enough for it to go around. You can buy these on eBay for around five bucks, and from what I read on the listing, they're going to be metal with glass lenses which is a pretty good construction if they really are because uh, if you get any sort of conversion lens or any lens at all it's going to be used for uh, video you want a glass one it's going to be the clearest and the best so if it is glass that'd be nice on the packaging all you see is universal clip lens and good product on the bottom left which is hilarious uh, I guess we'll have to see. Uh, that's how it clips onto your phone. They use, um, I don't know, one of the iPhones, probably the newest. On the back, you see an example of fisheye, macro, and wide angle. There's all the parts, and there's a write up, which has some bad English, but not too bad, actually. On the side, you'll see for iPhone, Samsung, HTC, whatever, 3 in 1 photo lens. Uh, what's inside? It looks like it comes in a carry case, or carry bag, I mean, fisheye, the clip, and two lens caps. Fair enough. As you can see, it's a little plastic uh, thing holding the lens and everything in place, and it shows through the packaging. Not bad at all, the packaging for this is. Let's open it up and see what else is inside. Get that out of the way. And as you see, clip. As I was saying, as you see the clip uh, lens holder, that's going to be a lens cap, and that's the combination lens, which I'll get back to. And a little carry case, which they say can also be used to clean the lenses, which probably. Got that. And got those two. This is just a lens cap. And it says lens on it. Fair enough. Uh, this is the combination lens. Uh, I had to do a bit of uh, looking into this to figure out what it actually is. Or, I mean, how it's working. I mean, let me try and get it in focus and lock it. There we go. Okay, so this is the wide angle here. That's the macro. If you want to do wide angle, you have to keep these two together. But if you want to just use macro lens, You unscrew it, and you, you know if you're just macro, just screw that into that thing. But if you want to do wide angle, you screw it back. You screw them both together, and that gets you your wide angle, which is a pretty neat way of doing it. They are um, they are all metal, and it does appear to be glass, which is pretty nice. This is the clip holder itself, which all you have to do is attach it to something. Now, um, I do like the fact that they have a little bit of, you know, rubber foam grip here, but they don't have it here. And that's, you know, what's going around your lens, the lens of your phone. So I would have preferred to have some foam there too, just to hold it in place, but this is just a cheap thing, so don't matter. And for a test, I'm going to attach it to this Sony Bloggy. Uh, this is the Touch HD model, the 12 megapixel sensor, or so they say. Uh, yes, it's supposed to have an IR filter and outer lens over that. This thing has been, uh, it's had a hard life, we'll put it that way. And in one of the videos I was making, that got broken and the lens itself got damaged. I replaced the lens and the sensor inside, but don't have a new piece of that glass. Oh well. <laughs> Still works fine. And all you do, clip it around, and make sure that it's centered around the lens. Because if it's not, you're gonna see it on the video. Then all you have to do, let's say if we're gonna take the fish eye lens. Just take that and screw it on. Very simple. 
But one of the problems, as you saw, when I screwed it in, that turned. And now it's not entirely in the middle. So you have to really be careful and make sure it's not moving out of place when you screw the lens on. And I dropped it. <laughs> well, anyway, I was done with that anyway. I'm going to go outside and record some footage of the diff with the different lenses. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm at a local park. Though it's really not much of a park anymore after all the trees that they uh, have been cutting down around here. I'm going to be a, uh, doing just a pan over. This is just the standard camera, no extra lenses. We're in the middle of a field. Now let's try it with the fisheye. Alright, so this is the fisheye lens. Though the fisheye is not really designed for things far away, so it's having a bit of an issue focusing. But if I were to take this and move it around, you can then start to see it does have that fisheye effect. And it's a bit, you know, a bit more in frame moving around. Of course, you'll, because it's a uh, fisheye lens, you're going to get those borders around. Um, depends on how much your phone actually crops out when it records video. I know my cell phone actually didn't have those because it crops out the middle of the image anyway. But I guess we'll see the uh, wide-angle lens next. Alright, and this is the wide-angle lens. To be honest, it doesn't really uh, pull in that much more. compared to the, actually, let me see, normal lens is that. Yeah, I guess it does pull in a little bit more into the uh, sensor. Not bad. Now let's take a look at the, met the uh, macro. Alright, and this is what the uh, macro lens looks like. One thing I will say about it is you really have to get right up in to whatever you're taking a macro of. I mean, I know that's, you know, common with macro lens in general, but, um, like most of them, here would be a good focal point, but not really, you have to get it even closer. With that being said, it actually does do a pretty good job of macroing. really see some detail there. One thing bad about macro, it's on a tripod and everything, but it's still quite a bit shaky. There we go. Yeah, you can get some interesting, uh, interesting pictures using macro. Video, probably. So, so far the lens seemed to be a pretty good quality. Well, time to go to final thoughts. Alright, so overall I'd say this set of cheap lenses is pretty darn good. And you can't go wrong for five bucks. Especially if you ever come into a uh, time when you need one of these lenses for something. Um, yeah, they're cheap. They seem to be pretty well built. And one thing funny is, um, it's one of the few things I've gotten that the bag's actually useful. So I just hung it off the side of my tripod, so I always have these lenses on me. Well, one of my tripods. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like and comment, and maybe even subscribe. I'm always looking at these cheap little things from eBay. Thank you for watching. Major Jip, signing out.